I love it. And I've got a nice little seating area for any friends. I am going to enjoy this quite a lot. I'd like to ask you about changing the room's ambience. Of course. Uh, what sort of overall look most appeals to you? I prefer warm and cosy. I'd like the room to be warm and comfortable, as if I'm floating inside a mug of butterbeer. Oh, sounds perfect. Wonderful. Well, aside from a few minor changes, mostly a big beehive, which I do hope I can collect honey from, and the stuff that Professor Weasley had me put out, I have left the room rather, well, unaltered. I did give it more of a earthy, earthy feel. I'm still torn on this setup here, but all in all, I can envision spending quite a bit of time here, training, practicing, learning, and most importantly, making potions and growing plants. Yes. Ooh. Alright, let's make that. Oh, oh. Let's... Which spell? There it is. Uh, no. I had a... Planting table. There it is. To me. Perfect. Right, we'll give this potion a few more moments. And we will begin to brew a. Well, might as well make thunder. Brew. I do have one, but it never hurts to have another. Anyways, right. What assignments do I have? I need to use that against enemies. Need Sebastian. All oh, right. Well, not a lot. I guess we can meet with him finally in the Undercroft. That seems like a, well, Put it lightly, a fair ways away. It's in the section of the building though, so I guess there's that. It's just basically straight down. All right. I appreciate all you've done for the place, Deke, and I will see you later. Right, I've got to remember, 7th seventh fl seventh floor, astronomy tower, in front of the unfortunate tapestry of a man getting beaten down by a bunch of trolls he tried to teach ballet. Additionally, there is a flu spot there, I can just flu powder in whenever I need to, which is... Ultimately, all the more convenient. I ought to get to bed. As should you. Just late. Those pieces just disappearing. Very perplexing. Right. 
Ignatia. I do wish to enlist your assistance and you can be back to my common room. Good morning, Friar. Seems like either everyone is sleeping in or I slept in and I'm rather behind on my day. In any case, I don't necessarily feel like going and delving into the forest for a bunch of miscreants. So, I guess that leaves to go track down Sebastian, the own, well, the castle's local miscreant. Although, I would... Handy resource indeed, your field guide. Yes, it is. I would hazard to say that, uh... That Weasley is quite the troublemaker. How are we doing? Looks like we're still in the lead. Gryffindor. Ravenclaw has nothing. As a Slytherin. Hmm. They can't be that far behind. Seems rather preposterous. Yes. Coat of arms. Right. Undercroft. I guess it's this way according to my guide. Oh, just birds. I was gonna say I ought to keep an eye out for any sort of book pages, keys. Other miscellaneous wonderments. Oh, hello. I was just thinking about you not that long ago. But it escaped me what your name was. Leander, maybe? No, that doesn't sound quite right. Anyways. It's a rather nice morning. At least so far. Okay. Now, presumably, we're going down. No. We're going this way. It's not quite down yet. Probably go down. It's probably under this tower. Oh, I was. Oh, right. Defense against the dark arts. Undercroft. Sounds rather ominous. Usually I associate that with. Tombs Rebellion. and such. Nothing. Oh, it's, oh. it's just a few spot. Well. Seems as though I'm a bit early. What in the world? Um, okay. Uh, there's a bit of bar beyond my knowledge. I'll wait for... Sebastian for a little bit to see if he catches up. Oh. Over here. Yes, you sure took your sweet time. Sebastian, it's been a while. It has. Glad you received my owl. I have something to show you. First, let me thank you for what you did in the library. Of course. Scribner tried to give me detention, but I have ways out of these things. Well, you took the fall for me, and that counts for something. Did you find what you were looking for? I did, but something was missing. I'm not sure here is the best place to discuss it. Understood. We can talk more in a moment, in the Undercroft. Not even the professors know about this place. That seems rather unlikely, if this I way. must be honest. I mean, after all, Professor Weasley knew about the room of requirements. There's a secret passage just here. It's well disguised. Right. Oh. It is this 
weird... Is it this weird door? I was wondering what this was. I'll take your word for it. It's a little loud. And if I must be honest... Maybe a bit... How did you find this place? Obvious. My friend, Ominous Gaunt. Oh. He named it the Undercroft. We used to play Godstones here all the time. With my sister. Anne. She loved that infernal... Revelio! What I wouldn't give to lose to her again. I should tell you, I swore to Ominous I would safeguard this place. So please, keep this between us. Yes, yes. He never confides in anyone. But he's trusted me since the day we met. I wouldn't want to jeopardize that. We used to sneak in here almost daily. We've never been caught. You see, Ominous gives me some weird vibes. And, well, I don't necessarily think it's wise to go gallivanting around with him. Seems rather unsavory. Hmm. Nothing much. What's so special about this place? I think I've seen Ominous in potions. Or was it Herbology? I've noticed that he uses his wand to navigate the castle. He does. No idea how, though. Ominous was born blind, and no spell could reverse it. Oh. His wand seems almost sentient. Not surprising, I suppose. Ollivander always says, the wand chooses the wizard. Is so that he how does. he found this place? No, someone in his family knew about it. The Gaunts are full of secrets. I've never heard anyone else speak of it. And I've certainly never seen anyone else here. Again, mention this to no one. Of course. Especially Ominous. He has no love lost for his family or their secrets. But this place is special to him. Understood. Why does Ominous have no love lost for his family? His father's family are direct descendants of Salazar Slytherin, one of the four founders of Hogwarts. Oh, that's a lot of Obsessed pressure. Obsessed with blood status, most of them. Ominous cannot abide them, oh. as he'll be the first to tell you. Interesting. Anyway, the Undercroft has been a perfect place to sneak off to, away from prying eyes, and even practice otherwise forbidden spells. Really? Like what? Like the Blasting Curse. Professors say it's not an appropriate spell to teach students. Why would that be? I mean, blasting curse does sound rather dangerous, so I could understand some hesitancy. But I would expect older students would be exposed and taught that sort of magic. It sounds like a dangerous spell. You sound like Ominous. He frowns upon using forbidden spells. Although he did enjoy learning this one. A spell like Confringo is only truly dangerous in untrained hands. Such spells should be properly taught, not banned. To be fair, I'm admittedly partial to more fiery forms of magic. But you should learn it. So I gather. I can teach it to you safely here. Okay. It may take a while to get the feel for it. Mimic my wand movement. The incantation is Confringo. Very well. Very well. Oh, okay. See, these little corners that are a little bit tricky. There we go. You're getting it. Ready to actually try it out? Uh, Stick to the targets, though. If sure, Confringo. Best to keep the Undercroft intact. Yes. Have a go at those candelabras. Both have their uses, but I think you'll find that a Confringo cast travels a bit farther than that of a spell like Incendio. Oh. Confringo! Nice work. Uh -huh. How's oh, it feel? Is... It's a tad hot. You'll get used to it. I mean, I can certainly see a use for it. That's it! I think I've got it. Oh, well it done. does have some range. Yes, I certainly see a purpose for it, but it is rather... Yes, you do need some training with it. It's not something I would... 
well, just willy-nilly give to a second year and let them have at it. Seems a rather quick way to end some people in the hospital wing. I have to say, I enjoyed that. The first time Ominous and I practiced Confringo, we singed our eyebrows. <laughs> I would have paid to see that. I swore we'd never live it down. So this day, there's something about that spell that's addictive. I mean, you do have to temper, like, there are useful spells, but there are spells that, like, we need to be very careful with. I mean, more spells like this with, like, a very inherent utility would be very useful. This is exactly the type of magic I've been hoping to learn. There's more where that came from. I've been practicing similar spells here for ages. Although, I didn't tell Anne and Ominous about every one. I haven't been here in some time. It's not the same without Anne. I'm sorry about your sister. If there's anything I can do... Perhaps when I next head to Feldcroft, you could come along. Meet Anne. She could use some cheering up. If it's not an imposition, I'd be happy to meet her. Just let me know when and I'll meet you. Oh, she misses Hogwarts. She's been stuck at home with our guardian, Uncle Solomon. Oh. Unfortunately, you'll have to meet him too. Okay. Well, meeting a new student will be precisely what she needs. I shall look forward to it. Cheers. By the way, what was it you couldn't discuss out in the hall earlier? Oh, I'm right. not sure where to start. You said something was missing from what you found in the library. Yes. I assume it's to do with what you told me. About the port key and Gringotts and Ranrock. Nothing gets past you. And yes, it is. As I'm sure you suspect, there is a bit more to all of this. I'm listening. As you have been, well, quite trusting in me. I, I will tell you, but it is something that is strictly between us. We don't want it getting around, shall we say. You must promise to keep this between us. I trusted you with knowledge of this secret Undercroft. You can trust me. All right. I can see traces of ancient magic. Ancient magic? I don't know what I was expecting you to say, but it wasn't that. What does that even mean? Honestly, um... I'm not entirely certain. All I know is that I can see whispers of an old magic that hardly anyone else can. Yeah. Fig and I think that Ranrock has somehow found a way to harness that magic's power. Are you telling me that goblins may be wielding some sort of wizard magic? That's Uncertain. what we're trying to find out. And this ability of yours, does it allow you to wield this magic too? I... Uh, I don't know. Well, when you do know, tell me. I've been studying archaic forms of magic for ages. Perhaps we can help each other. In the meantime, with both Rookwood and Ranrock after you, I suspect a bit more time practicing the blasting curses in order. Spend Not as much time idea. here as you'd like. And remember, keep this place between us. Of course. When I head to Feldcroft, I'll send you an owl. Perfect. I look forward to it. I do rather like this spell. Like you said, it's insane. Do you get much more like range from it? Which I do appreciate. Compared to well, Incendio, which is much more close range. And oftentimes my enemies I prefer to keep at a distance. Alright. Well so long, Sebastian. Hello, Sebastian. Wait. Oh. You there! I can hear you! Oh, hello. Ominous, isn't it? I believe we have potions together. And Herbology? I recognize that voice. Heard you talking to Gareth Weasley in potions class. Gareth. You're the new fifth year. Did uh, you yes. just come from the Undercroft? How did you get in there? Um, 
Well, to be perfectly truthful, Sebastian trusted me with the knowledge of it. Actually, Sebastian brought me there, but he made it perfectly clear to keep quiet about it. That rat! You breathe a word about this place to anyone, and not even your precious Professor Fig will be able to help you. My father is friends with the headmaster, oh. and I'm not afraid to exploit that connection if I need to. There is no need for threats, Ominous. There's no reason to live up to your name's connotation. Just calm down. You needn't threaten me. I'm not going to say anything about your undercroft. Why should I trust you? You just betrayed Sebastian. Please. I was trying to defend him. He was clear that this was a secret place and I was to tell no one. He's a good friend. I don't need you to tell me about my oldest friend. Thank you very much. Ominous, I just meant- I know what you meant. Sebastian gets himself in enough trouble. He doesn't need your help. Sebastian is going to get an earful about this. Very well, but you need to just... I don't know. Calm down a little bit. It's very high strung for... What? He's my age? So like 15? My goodness. Right, talents. I got another point of some sort. Let's take a look. Room of requirement, maximum potion, address, oh, interesting, maybe, maybe, dark arts, okay, um, I do believe that this might be useful, as is uh, that one. Yes. And let's see what else I can do. Not a lot. That was my worry. Well, I suppose I can go running around for that. Oh, got mail. I would like to teach you Wingardium Leviosa. It can be used to levitate objects for a short time. Once you've completed a few prerequisite tasks, do see me after class. Oh, wonderful. Wincardium Levio- that must be very similar to Levio, so if I were to infer by the name. Um, perfect. That's exciting. More magic. Professor Garl- here we go. Choir and use a Venomous Tentacular. Use a Mandrake on multiple enemies. Okay, well, I need Mandrakes. Oh, and apparently the Professor's back? Did I miss his letter? Yes, I did. Come and see me. I've discovered something in the locket we found at Gringotts. Interesting. So. Got the pages. Professor Fig has found something. We're making good progress there. I need. Right. She wants me to field test those, apparently. Should I need any seeds of plants so I can visit Dogweed and Deathcap? Very well. That is rather exciting. And I'm assuming Dogweed, Dogweed and Deathcap. Is that. No. No. Hmm, maybe South Hawks mean. Perhaps. 
perhaps I have no idea where I am going. And as such, I have no idea where this dogweed and death cap place really is. Okay. Well. Anyways, and as such, let's go to Upper Hogsfield. And. Well. Get tossed around by a bunch of bandits. That seems like a pleasant and intelligent idea, doesn't it, Ignatia? So much so that I'm talking to a. Well, a not even a statue, a plaque. Right, let's go north. Take me to... Upper Hogsfield. Right. Dog bog warning. I feel like I had that one already. It's like a place right out of a storybook. We've been here. I don't know. What I do know is this ought to make for some much more convenient traveling. What is down here? Ooh, spider web. Perhaps I avoid that. That seems the sensible thing to do, doesn't it? Go this way. And we'll be careful. Hogwarts is very lucky they've got protection charms, if you ask me. Right. They seem a bit above my capabilities, so nothing approaching Aranger except spiders. Not worth the trouble if you ask me. Let's be very Things careful. Are far too brittle. Ho, ho. Right. Inferious. What in the world? Okay, well. Perhaps I ought to come this down looks intriguing. here. There. Maybe I can practice Confringo. Confringo! <laughs> Actually, let's also get Incendio in place. Incendio. That seems rather helpful against these creatures. Protego. Stupid one. Confringo. Incendio. Is that Inferius wearing a woolly jumper? That must be Bardolf. Oh, lovely. Instant. Back off. You really creature. Ah, I can't block that. Confringo. Incendio. Ah, just out of range. Got it. Hell. Oh, what? I am daft. Take the potion. Yes. There. Part of this whole adventure was to get that done for the professor. 
Incendio. Confringo. Yeah, that's rather unfortunate. Bardolph's woolen jumper. I'm not sure Madame Beaumont would want to know what really happened to him. Yes, that is a very unfortunate. I prefer the matter. Journal entry one of two. I hate that I'm afraid, but there's no going back. I seem to have mastered two of the curses so far. But I've had to pledge to do their bidding if I'm to learn more. I can't let them see my fear. They're already whispering behind my back. I've been told not to trust dark wizards, but I can't stop until I've, I have enough magic to protect Claire, myself, and all of Upper Hawksfield. Bardolf. An well, entry from Bardolf's journal. He overheard whispers, a plan, something to do with him. Well, I think I just Rebellio. stumbled across the end <laughs> result of said plan. But, let's see. Journal entry two of two. I'm repulsed by what I have just witnessed. They have created an inferious, a corpse mutilated, come to life. I tried to hide my horror at what was what I was seeing. Alas, I think they saw through me. I need to convince them that I am not a spy. I'm not here to undermine them. If I do not, I fear I could be next. Bardolf. This mentions in theory. And something about it being Bardolf's turn next. Yes. I get a very distinct and unfortunate impression that Bardolf's attempts to assuage his dark wizard Well, I hesitate to say colleagues, but that kind of exactly was what they were. Saw through his attempts and, well, turned him into an inferior. And now, I'm to report back to Mr. Beaumont. And I have no idea what I'm going to tell her. This could prove dangerous if I'm not careful. And the chickens seem to be of, well... No help in the matter, aside from trying to get me blown up. 